Members of two gangs who exploited vulnerable children to flood a Lancashire town with Class A drugs have been jailed. One woman and 15 men are behind bars after the gangs, known as the General Line and the Flash Line, were smashed by detectives. It comes after a three-year operation into the supply of heroin and crack cocaine by two groups operating in Accrington Stanley. Detective Chief Inspector Tim Brown said the criminals thought they were untouchable. He said these organised crime groups, led by Armour Hussein and Suhail Khan, deliberately targeted and shamelessly exploited some of the most vulnerable members of society for their own financial gain. These individuals thought that they were untouchable and believed they could go on making their lives of their victims and many residents who were forced to live their law-abiding lives around them a misery forever. I welcome the sentences handed out to members of this gang, particularly those for Amar Hussein and Suhail Khan, and I hope it sends a clear message that Lancashire Constabulary and its partner agencies will use all methods at their disposal to disrupt the work of organised criminals. So in November 2018, officers launched Operation Sark, an investigation into the supply of heroin and crack cocaine in Accrington. The operation focused on two OCGs known as the General Line and the Flash Line. Members of these gangs were known to use violence against their rivals in order to claim territory, a practice which is known as taxing and intimidation to force children into selling drugs on their behalf. The OCGs targeted vulnerable boys in local authority accommodation and trained them to sell drugs on the streets of Accrington. The victims, who were as young as 16, were also ordered to store and package drugs from their accommodation. As part of their inquiries, police identified the General Line OCG, which was headed up by the 30-year-old Amar Hussein, who ran the lucrative drug supply network. The General Line, which was a telephone number, ranked to buy Class A drugs, was also linked to the Baz and Taz drug lines that Hussein also ran. Over a 170-day period, up to May 2019, it's estimated those lines received 100 calls or texts per day, generating around £340,000 in cash from the sale of illicit substances. Evidence obtained from the covert operation established that Hussein was the leader of the OCG. Not only did he buy drugs in bulk from Lancashire, West Yorkshire and Greater Manchester, he managed the phones that told street dealers where to deliver customer orders to. He purchased designer goods for his dealers, sometimes paying them in part with drugs and groomed them to ensure he made as much money as he could without coming to the attention of the police. Similar tactics were employed by the Flashline OCG. The general line operated 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and Hussein continued to run his operation while on trial at Preston Crown Court for an unrelated matter for which he was eventually acquitted. His trusted right-hand man was a 25-year-old Ahmad Bashir who answered the phones and told street dealers where to go. Thomas Edwards, who's 24, played a similar role to Bashir in supply in the conspiracy and his partner, 21-year-old Ella Smith, helped by taking phone calls to the dealer line, packaging drugs and letting the group use her home as a base. There was Brandon Wilson, an 18-year-old, 19-year-old Ali Mahmood, 19-year-old Tyler O'Neill, 26-year-old Connor Colburn, 22-year-old Jacob Fisher, 30-year-old Naomi Winter, 18-year-old Stephen Milton and 30-year-old Nathan Walker occupied various roles within the OCG from organisers to street dealers. There was a taxi driver, Bilal Yousaf, who's 27, acted as a chauffeur and regularly provided transport for Hussein and Bashir while they engaged in their drug dealing activities. Guys, I've got another video actually from Derby. If you want to watch it, I'll put it in the top right-hand corner and I'll put it in the description below. But check this out, where another where another taxi driver was involved, but this time, this taxi driver, he was excited, and he got caught on his own CCTV camera, chatting to a dealer, calling him a brother, and saying, whatever happens stays between me and you, I'll drive you around, sell as many drugs as you want. Go check that video, it's in the top right hand corner. Yeah, I'll be honest with you, bro, look, whatever goes on between me and you, stays between me and you, brother. That's, I'm like a brother to you, you know what I mean? So whatever goes on between me and you stays between me and you, you got me, bro. Yeah, look, like I says in it, whatever goes on between me and you stays between me and you. Nobody needs to know about nothing, you got me? Yeah. Once a day? Once a day? Yeah, there you go, bro. There you go. Yeah. See, like it says in it, bro, wherever, whenever you need me, any time, day, night, any time, you got me. I'll, I'll be there for you, my brother, you got me, any time. 
The flash line, which was also operated 24-7, was run by Sohail Khan and an associate who directed dealers where to go while purchasing and selling drugs. They often used violence to achieve their aims. On one occasion, Sohail Khan boasted about slashing the hand of one of their dealers for stealing from him. Among the hierarchy of the flashlight was Iftikar Asgar, whose home in Accrington was used as an operating base for the OCG. Large quantities of Class A drugs were sorted, packaged and sold from that address. Among those trusted to handle and retain large quantities of drugs and cash in dealer phones for the OCG were Marban Hussein, who acted as a driver for the OCG, Bradley Risdale and Colin Cardwell. Operating the street leaders for the flash line were Jake Chambers, Michael Hall and Charles Wigglesworth. During the investigation, officers uncovered the illegal activities of Shazel Mir, David Pye and Martin Jackson who were running their own individual dealer lines. Over recent months, individuals charged as part of Operation Sark have been sentenced at Preston Crown Courts including six members of the flash line of Wigglesworth who was sentenced yesterday. A warrant was issued for the arrest of Michael Hall, who failed to attend the sentencing hearing. and All 24 defendants were charged with conspiracy to supply crack cocaine and heroin. So the defendants who pleaded guilty at the sentencing were the following. Amar Hussain got eight years. Sohail Khan got eight years and three months. Shazel Mir, four years and ten months. Thomas Edwards, four years. Hamad Bashir, seven years. Connor Colburn, four years. Nathan Walker, four years. David Pye, three years, nine months. Martin Jackson, three years, three months. Jacob Fisher, three years, six months. Charles Wigglesworth, three years, two months. Naomi Winters, three years, two months. Bradley Risdale, three years. Ifti Karasgar, two years, four months. Colin Cardwell, two years, four months. Ella Smith, two years suspended. Brandon Wilson, two years suspended. Tyler O'Neill, two years suspended. Stephen Milton, supervision order. Jake Chambers, was two years suspended. And Michael Hall, as I said, there's a warrant issued for his arrest. And there were three defendants who initially pleaded not guilty who were found guilty following a trial. And they were sentenced to the following. So Bilal Yousaf got four years. Ali Mahmood got four years. And Marban Hussein got two years suspended. So guys, there's a story coming out from Lancashire where an organised crime gang has been jailed for supplying drugs. And to those of you that haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you clicked on that subscribe button for me. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked. Keep it real.